Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here. So if you guys are interested in how I achieve this look, go ahead and keep watching and please stay till the end of the video because I have a very, very, very important announcement to make and something that I know you guys are going to be interested in. So go ahead and keep watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more and I will see you guys soon. Bye! And it looks like I have a black eye on this side. It does, huh? So I got socked in the face by this one girl. Just kidding. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I got this eye look right here. I'm not done yet with my face, but I just wanted to go ahead and start this and um, see what I came up with. And I came up with this, and I'm gonna be using the Kathleen Lights by Morphe palette and to make this full look. Okay, I'm trying to go for like a cranberry look. Um, I already went ahead and primed my face with this Age Rewind Concealer and I just went ahead and put this all over my eyelid and I also already did my eyebrows. So yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using the Morphe M513 brush and I'm just going to be putting this shade right here and I'm just going to be putting this as a base all over my eyelid and then I'm going to be using this shade right here as a transition shade with the same brush. So today I got off work early, that's why I'm here filming sometimes when you're at work and like, you kind of wish that they let you early, like they let you go early. Like, have you guys ever felt that before? Like, you're at work and you're just like, oh, I have nothing like to do. Like, I wish you would just send me home because sometimes you're just so sick and tired of working. That's how I feel. So then I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Put this color on my eye crease as well. So yeah, that's how I was today. I was just sitting there at work and I literally had nothing. And I mean, I can stay there. Like, I can just sit there and they won't, they'll think I have work the whole time. But then I feel like <laughs> I'm the type of person that's like, oh, I have better things to do, aka film for my channel instead of getting paid, which is so bad, but whatever. I already got most of my hours, so I'm not really like tripping. But yeah, I really wanted to come and like film. And plus, I have a surprise for you. At the end of the video, I'll have a surprise, so then I'll let you guys find out. But yeah, I've been wanting to do this, film this, or you know, just film something with this palette for so long. Like ever since I got it, which was a really, really long time ago. Okay, so then that's that one, and I just love this shade. Like it gives such a beautiful, like, cranberry shade to it. I'm gonna be using my finger to put in this shade right here on my eyelid because I don't want to have fallout or like with the brush I feel like it's gonna wash off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab my finger into the shade. And this is what it looks like. They're so pigmented and I love this eyeshadow palette. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this on my lid. So with this brush, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go alongside my crease again and just blend everything out. And I go in circular motions and then I focus on my outer circle or the outer part of my eye. And then I have hooded eyes so then I kind of just like 
push this color in my crease as well and then or like in my eye socket I don't know but I and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend these out Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but instead of using the cranberry color, I'm going to be using this shimmer shade up here. It looks like a cranberry copperish color. I don't really know, but it's so pretty. And I'll swap it on this hand. So this one right here, it's like a copper cranberry. I don't know. It's like in the same realm. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put that one on top of this cranberry color top of my lid to give it a little bit of more shimmer and I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid I recommend that you guys put on your eyeshadow first and then your foundation okay so it's basically blended all out Okay, so then I'm going to grab the black shade that's in this palette right here. I love the black shade. Now it looks like I got a black eye. I like the black shade because um, like, I love how she added a black so that you can like smoke this look out and create like a more intense look, like a smoky cranberry look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the black, which is super pigmented as well. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like, just dab it on the outer corner of my eye as well. So, yeah, I'm just gonna dab it on the outer corner. And then with the brush, the same brush, I'm just gonna blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the lightest shade again this shade oops, this shade right here so that I can go ahead and blend out the smokiness Okay, so then after that, I'm going to grab the shimmery one again, and I'm just going to put that on my eyelid again. I never knew this, but like blending eyeshadow takes so long to do if you want it to come out right. Okay, so then... I'm now done, so now I'm going to grab these e.l.f. Cleanser or cleansing cloth. Chica, can you stop? I'm gonna add, I'm gonna get the e.l.f. cleansing cloths. And I'm just gonna... Chica, stop it. I'm just gonna clean up my face. And these work so good. And they smell good. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm going to grab my brush and put a little bit on my inner corner of this shimmery shade right here which is this one and I'm just gonna dab that in my inner corner dab look at that highlight I'm going to be applying some more of the cranberry shade of this shade first and then the shade to darken under my eyes and just bring out pop out my eyes just a little bit more okay so for my falsies i'm gonna be use a cara for 15 lashes and i will be right back go ahead and add a little bit of highlighter and i already have on my nude lips and Boom! 
and I'm using the Becca Moonstone for my highlighter to give me a glow from within because I don't want to have that much stuff on my face. I want to have like a bare face, but you know that, you know, you can't leave or you can't complete a look without a highlighter. So I just want to go ahead and add this on my face, but I want to have a bare looking face. And I want my skin to just look glowy. And then I'm going to add this a little bit on my chin. And just a little bit on my forehead. For my gloss, I am using the Morphe Virgin Lipstick. But I feel like it's too light. So I'm going to add a little bit of nude to it so I'm going to add candy cane in the middle this is basically it now I'm gonna go curl my hair and then you guys will see the finished product hey guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this look and as I said, to stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a very, very, very important announcement. I am going to give away a Kathleen Light palette, and this is brand new. I bought two, actually, because I wanted to give one away, and I love, love her eyeshadow. I'm actually using it right now, as you guys saw in the video, but I love, love, love how it came out, and I am giving away one of these palettes. And how to enter will be linked down below. This is my very, very first giveaway. So I'm giving away this brand new palette and it's so new. This is the other one so you guys have proof that I am not just giving away the one that I really use because that would be weird. But anyway, so I am giving, giving away this Kathleen Lights palette. If you are subscribed to my channel and also follow me on my Sandy Baby social media on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and this will be open for about two months, so I am giving this away. So please subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to win and go follow me on my social media at Sandy Baby. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look very, very much, and I love, love, love how it came out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So please keep watching and please subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!